Shoo! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce is excited. Well, today's a special day. We are going to load up all of my lawn care equipment. Riders, push mowers, shovels, hedge trimmers, edgers. What else am I missing? Weed eaters. Weed eaters. Uh, wheelbarrow shovels. Uh, I already said that. Blowers. Uh, no power washer today. I know. I decided to disappoint. But we are, there is a, there's a lawn in town here, not too far from my house. That is, it's been abandoned for quite some time. Been looking at it for two years. So listen, maybe we need to go take care of business. It's a thing on YouTube now. I'm not going to act like I'm the one that came up with this idea, okay? There's other YouTubers on YouTube that will go out, find lawns that are like super neglected and take care of them basically for free. But since there's one like right down the road, I was like, why not, you know, do it to somebody that, you know, I don't know who they are. I don't know if the, the house is abandoned. I'm pretty sure it's abandoned. But we're going to go out there and see if they'll let us mow it. I don't know if they will. I don't know if like sound if they're home. We'll talk to the neighbors. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. If this just thing is completely abandoned, people just don't like getting on the mower. I don't really know, but since I'm right down the road, I've been seeing it on YouTube. I think it's super entertaining. I figured you guys might think it's super entertaining. Um, there's a couple YouTubers. I think it's Lawn Care Juggernauts one, and then Al, is his name Al Blades, I think? Either way, shout out to you two. I've watched a couple of your guys' videos. Really awesome. Um, inspired me to, to do this. I'm like, man, I should look for somebody that maybe needs some help to, to get their lawn looking good. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We're gonna load everything up. I mean, I've got all the, like, I've got everything. I started making a list of like, okay, what should we bring? This is, I've got a full-blown landscaping service worth of equipment sitting in that shop right now, not doing anything today. It is wet. I'm not going to lie. It's wet. It's damp. It's probably going to suck. Uh, it's going to be moist. We're going to have to, I'm going to get some taller boots on. The mowers are probably going to clog up and it's, but it's just part of it. Like you can see, we just had a storm, but it's nice and cool outside. It's been like 110 degrees, not quite. I'm more like 95, but it's been really hot. And I was like, listen, if we're going to do this, we don't want to be sweating our nuts off. Uh, so we're going to do it today since there's re we didn't really have anything else going on at my house. So we're going to load up the utility trailer. Unfortunately, we don't have like, well, actually I do have an enclosed trailer. It's just not here and it's full of a bunch of uh, hunting stuff, but we don't have like a legitimate setup. But if you guys really like these videos, well, Jake and I were talking, we might build out that trick that trailer. That trailer just needs to go to the dump. It's actually not that bad, but I've had it for so long, it's beat up. We might just turn that trailer into the world's ultimate landscaping trailer with like the racks and everything else like that. Like I said, I already have all the gear. We just need to find a, a way to, you know, package it all in there and drive around and maybe take care of some lawn. So that's today's objective is to, uh, to run into town and go knock on some doors and see if we can mow some lawns for free. Stay tuned. Oh, before I almost I almost forgot ladies and gentlemen the beefcake merch is now available It will be linked down in the description down below We've got beefcake construction merch beefcake construction merch a whole bunch of other designs All you guys were hyped up about it, but I did I just remembered I was like oh wait It's launched now, so it is available right now if you guys want to check it out Um, we've got you know some cool colors like this. We've got a bunch of other stuff We've got beefcake racing apparel. We've got camel towing apparel. We got a whole bunch of other stuff So anyways the apparel will be linked down below. Okay now. Let's get loaded up Does this one work? Okay. This one's a broken one, right? Yeah, I fixed it. Okay, I, just, I didn't know. Yeah, okay. He, he used it the other day. Okay, sweet. Just making sure. That's good for the paint. What did you call these suckers? Loppers. Is that what they're? Is that what they're called? Branches off trees and bushes. And is that is that a slang or is that? That's what I call them. Lop. They'll tell you. Lop. What, hey, what are these called? Shears? Runners. Loppers? I call them loppers. loppers. Okay, I've never heard that. I thought I was, thought I was crazy. Lopper. I, no, I like the I like lopper better. I just never heard of it. I got the big one here. Yeah, okay. The old lopper? The old lopper. He said lopper and I was like, I don't think I own one of those. I don't know what that is. You the push mower? Yeah, we'll take that one. I'll probably, I'll take this blower and the backpack. the backpack and then both trimmers yes yeah it's wet this one needs fuel check what's that need fuel probably yeah i would just fuel everything now then we then we shouldn't need and then just bring a jug some batteries
Not sure on the mix on that. It doesn't tell you? Let me Google it. What's that? What's a brand? Pool and Pro? Really? What I've never that? heard that one before. Pool and Pro. This is 40 to 1. 40 to 1? This is Pool and Pro on frequently asked questions on hedge trimmers. 41. You could obtain the. Yeah, let's see. What is the fuel oil mix ratio? This is for hedge trimmers on poolandpro.com. Mm. 40 to 1. You can obtain this ratio by mixing 3.2 ounces of two cycle air cooled engine oil with one gallon of regular gas. Why do they do that? So we don't have cool. We don't. Mix half 30 and half 50. Really? Is that how math works? We got 32 and we got 50. Split those half and half. You're about 40. <laughs> 32 and I throw some 32 half 32 half 51 call her a day. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> we're, All right, we're doing it Give her the old mix Just a little splash of both and call her a day <laughs> Looks like it's straight gas that's in there. I'll be honest. It probably is Good the there. The old 5 oh. I feel like that stuff's got to be like you're telling me 50, 50 to one and forty to one are that big of a difference. Your thing's just gonna like explode. explode. Yeah, no, that's probably fine. Here it comes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, roughly forty yeah. to one. Give her the old, <laughs> give her the old swig. Yeah, <laughs> It'll be all right. Give, the old, <laughs> give the old shake. this and like a normal rig just in case. Anything else? We got about everything. I say we got we got enough to do about anything we want. Alright. We identified a lawn that really needs some work. We're gonna go talk to the neighbor here and see if see if they care if they know what the strat is on this house. But this house looks pretty pretty beat up. Looks like there's a for sale sign too. So if they're gonna sell it, it probably shouldn't look like this. For sale sign. Yeah, it for sale. Is that, what's the Cambridge stuff? Is that roofing uh, or siding? Shingles maybe? Shingles? Yeah. Is that dog barking from inside the house? Uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody lives there. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's What's up? <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Guy dog. No, it looks like smart. All right, I'm gonna talk to him, see what this guy has to say. Make sure he's okay. How's it going? You cool if we mow this lawn? You don't care. They don't. No one lives here, do they? No one lives here. Got it. Are they? Are they? They're, they're trying to sell the house. It looks like. Not sure. I, I've been here for nine months and no one's. No one showed nine there? months. Really? Nobody's taking care of it in at least nine months then. Oh, it got flooded then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see if we can clean it up a little bit then. Is there? All right. We'll be careful back there. Hey, buddy. What? Hi, buddy. All right. Well, we got the green light from the neighbor. They said no one's been here for. We say nine months. He hasn't seen. Months. He's been here nine months. Never seen. Yeah, it, so it seen could be worse. Take care of it. There, yeah, I mean, there's a for sale sign. I don't know who's buying that. What's the? Yeah. What's the? What's the first move here? You think? We grab our. Loppers and hedge trimmers and stuff, and start knock, knocking, knocking stuff those trees away down from the house, so that we can get the trimmer in by it. Yeah, and go get, grab all these sticks. We can probably throw our tarp out over here. And start, pile start, up all the start loading it up on the okay. and all the crap on there, and then mow it, and then mow it after it's clean, so we okay. can kind of go through it first. Okay. Get gloved up. All right. So this is the first house. It's looking a little rough. Um, we're gonna see. So you can fix it up. No, no one knows who owns it. They said it's for sale. No, no one's been here for nine months, so I don't know if they're gonna be able to. Man, it is. We might have to redo the lawn and the house. Yeah. You know, I wonder if we should. Yeah, you probably, probably, I say it, it's well. probably not worth it to buy it and then renovate it. I don't know if anyone, if anyone would buy it or not, but it probably needs a lot, lot, lot of work. All right. Well, we'll start with 
trimming her up and hauling out some of them sticks. All right, we're gonna take our wheelbarrow out and we parked off the side of the road, so we got a little bit of a little bit of a walk, not bad. Big, big Sheila. All right, got the gloves on. Yeah, it's gonna get warm. Take that hoodie off here soon. Okay, I got trimmers. Um, there was a tree growing inside the house. We might want that chainsaw for. I saw that. What's that? Oh God, yeah. Your loppers. Yeah, damn it. How that was going, crusty. Okay, what else do you think that we need for now? Yeah, I'm just gonna kill this hoodie right now. This is I can already tell what's yeah, gonna I'm happen. Gonna that, sun, that sun's gonna kill us here. We got the old beefcake construction T-shirt. We unintentionally wore the same hoodie and T-shirt today. I don't even have a beefcake construction hat though. No, right. I haven't got any more. I only got one. Sorry. Okay, what else for this, this is round? Good. Is that it? Clean up branches and piling crap up. I think we're good to go. At least everyone's gonna think we're a legitimate company, so no one's gonna give us any flack. Because we match. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who has all this crap and matching uniforms? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're, we're professionals out here. This guy just saying nothing. <laughs> How we doing? We're cutting lawns for free today. Perfect. You got, you got one? one? You got one? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I don't know that guy. No, he, he, he talked to us like he knew who we were. What are you guys doing? <laughs> All right. God damn, I don't know how to get that thing up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. All right, what are we, are we lopping or trimming or what you tell me? Uh, let's take these loppers first. These yeah. big ones will probably do the job. Okay, I mean, I can take this chainsaw and knock down that tree on that corner. That corner? Yeah. yeah. Go All right, I'll get this bad boy going here. The old chainsaw. but this tree right here looks a little big. So, try to cut out the chainsaw.
anyone missing a mailbox? Mailbox? Yeah. Quite a few sticks. Better already. <laughs> a bunch of shingles too. Pile these shingles up on that, you think? Just get them out of the way. Definitely thought there was gonna be a snake under there. Mm -hmm. okay. You grab that side. You missing a truck? Yeah. Old Tonka truck. We'll leave, we're gonna leave all this stuff here. I don't know. I don't feel bad throwing people's stuff out. Maybe they want it. But we'll at least just get the lawn looking good. That's all that matters. Care which one you use? Do you have, you have a, I don't know if I've ever ran that, that one. That goes lighter than, the, than this one. Yeah. Is this a little, that's a little bit of a. This one's that's a, little a heavier, heavier duty. Yeah. It's a big mama. All right, get the old trimmers going.
me to start, you may start on the rider. Yeah. Okay. You want this or you give it that? Alright. I at least got the front so I can mow that. I didn't I didn't do much down the side. Pull around the corner, so. Okay. Get the mower going.
All right, well, she's already looking a lot better. We just try to get as much mode and mulch as we possibly could. These all suck. What are these called? These things suck. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I wish I had the little blade for the weed whacker. Just we got to yeah, we got to we got to get one of those bad boys, but we'll try to we'll try to nip them down as good as we can. I tried mowing over them really as much as I possibly could. I didn't want to blow any more grass into the street as possible. So we'll come back and we can should be able to edge edge some of this up. And then believe it or not, there is a side. Does it go to the end here? Yeah. Wow. Is there just that much crap on there? Oh my gosh. The sidewalk all the way. That's like four inches of dirt. Wow. We can clean that out. Yeah, yeah. Let's get her all cleaned out. She's gonna look nice. We might need to empty that wheelbarrow fill it up. and fill it up because that's uh I bet that's gonna take that's gonna take a lot of dirt to, yeah. to get all this. So there is a, believe it or not, there is a sidewalk under this. So we're pretty much mowed as good as you know for now as good as we can. We can come back and clean it up later, but really just wanted to hack it all down. And so now I think we should probably just get this sidewalk all cleared out that we can smooth it out, edge it. We don't have a washer today, a power washer. I don't even know if they have water up out here anyways, but we'll at least get to where you can see the sidewalk. So if somebody wants to come see this house, if they want to buy it, they at least don't have to walk in the grass. The nice grass we just yeah. cut, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, well, let's clean the sidewalk. I can't figure out where it is. It starts and ends. Sidewalk? Yeah. I just keep going. I don't know where it stops and ends. I don't I didn't want to like get into the yard, you know. But oh dear god.
That sun got hot. <laughs> Here, let me put this a little closer to you. Woo, she's a heavy load too. Beefcake landscaping, folks. Look at that. You didn't know there's a sidewalk there. It's funny. It's me neither. Uh, this concrete was missing, so we didn't. That's why that's not trimmed up. But we did what we could. I mean, this isn't going to be 
you know, the nicest landscaping job. Okay, you gotta remember, I've never actually done any real landscaping besides my own yard. So, you know, if you guys have any tips, please let me know. Um, but we are gonna haul off the sticks. We've got sticks over there and sticks over there. We just, we, you know, 50% of us were like, we just, we just have them to the side, somebody else can take care of them. I'm like, well, what's the point? No one's gonna take care of them. We might as well, if we don't, we want them gone, we should just do it. So we're gonna do it right. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we hauled off, there's a lot of dirt. The thing's full of dirt, but we got her mowed pretty nice. Like it didn't, it doesn't look great, okay? It's not like it's a good looking yard, um, but it's at least just not super overgrown. And comment down below, if you want us to come back, we could power wash this thing, this dry, or this sidewalk right here. Um, I think it might be a little wider than what we cut, but we weren't, we wanted it, we, we tried to line it up with that because we knew there was no concrete over there, so we wanted to keep it that way, but I'm pretty sure it probably goes over another foot. But again, we just, we wanted to make sure it just at least looked somewhat decent, um, cleaned it all out, hauled it away, and uh, hey, how's it going? And Jake's grabbing the truck right now, and he's gonna he's gonna pull it around so we can load up all of our gear, all the sticks, and get everything out of here. I mean, it definitely looks a lot better than before. I can tell you that much. Like I said, that, I mean, that tree needs to go I, around back. I didn't do a whole lot. There's a lot of stuff on the ground, like stuffed animals. I just I felt weird not having the actual owner's permission to move any of their belongings, so we left it. Um, but we at least made the the curb appeal significantly better than what it what it was in the past like i said it's not the best i mean you can see what the shape the house is in in general i don't know if a, a manicured lawn is really going to sell this place but it sure as heck is not going to hurt so with that being said jake's got the old trailer he's backing her up let's go ahead and get this stuff loaded out and head on to the next uh the next lawn the next job site sound like brad the builder on to the next lawn <laughs> That's it boys, that's all she wrote. All the tools lined up, and uh, this, is, this is what she looks like now. You got the before, and this is the after. I'd say quite the improvement. Again, it's not perfect, you know, we've got that, but I mean, like I said, we're not, we're not here to make this a manicured golf course. We just wanted to clean up somewhat of an eyesore in the community. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see us come back and maybe power wash this guy, widen up that sidewalk a little bit, because I'm pretty sure there is some concrete under there. Or we could take care of that one, or we could take care of that one. <laughs> there's a lot. This was the worst one. We drove around, this was the worst one. We're starting from the worst and going down, and there's obviously other neighborhoods and stuff. Uh, if you're near the Omaha, Nebraska area, and you know of somebody who actually needs help getting their lawn taken care of. I'll put an email down in the description. Email me the address or a rough location with photos, with the story. You know, we're looking to help people. We don't want to just do this because, you know, you guys just want your lawn mowed on a Saturday so you can watch football or I guess baseball. It's not football season, but you get what I'm saying. Like people in need, whether they're elderly uh, or just unable to get it done. Um, but if they're around Omaha, we can show up, throw beefcake landscaping in there and, and just at least improve it. Again, we're not, we're not experts. We don't claim to be experts. I'm sure some of you professional lawn guys are cringing going, you should have done this and that and the other. But at the end of the day, it looks significantly better. And that's really what we're after. But like I said, we might end up picking up another rider um, so we can actually get some stuff done, get a lot of stuff done, get a little bigger trailer and really turn it into an operation where we can just bang, 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 help, help some people out, get their lawns cut up, looking good for the summer. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and remember, Beefcake Construction merch, like this hoodie right here, or hoodie, this is a t-shirt, t-shirt, hat, hoodie, all that stuff like that. You want to support your boy. If you're big into towing camels and you want camel towing, LLC, hoodie or t-shirt, those are also available. That's, that's Jake's favorite. Oh, okay. He's all about that. Pulling out since 1969. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace. Thank you.